also use for the tank. And I might just get one more. That is a really interesting color. Here we go. Good morning. Toby. Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. You've probably already seen from the title and thumbnail that we are creating a catfish fish tank. I chose catfish because obviously this channel is about cats um, and I thought it'd be cool. Cool to do something new, you know, with Tom and Toby and see how it goes. I'm unbox this little sucker and get it open. Alright everyone, so here is the tank that I have got. Now, I knew this was going to be small when I bought it. I just want everyone to know that this video is for entertainment purposes only. Uh, I would never actually put a fish in here um, for like longer than what I'm going to put my catfish in here for, which is like, what, 30 seconds? I actually have a big 160 litre tank uh, out, just out in the other room. So, this video is just for entertainment purposes only. I would never put a fish in here. Alright, so Tom and Toby have just joined us. And we're going to unbox this. Tom is already intrigued. What's that, Tom? Bit of cardboard. Alright, so it comes with some AA batteries. Probably for the light. Uh, and then, this is the tank. It's actually so much bigger than what I thought it would be. That's so weird. It's so much bigger than what I thought it would actually be. Just took the plastic off it here. Um, and obviously that's the bottom bit. And this actually slides off. To be like a cover sort of thing. And you can see the lights and the three lights there. Must be the LEDs. Um, then it comes with some basic instructions and then the uh, actual tank itself which now that I'm unwrapping it seems very small that is just a tiny cube so this is obviously how it goes so we got the stem part there and then this goes over the top just like that and that is our tank seems pretty pretty standard I just go home from the pet shop so I'm gonna send you through that footage right now I found the fish section this purple rock actually looks really good I'm thinking about purple I also have white and this sort of mixture of gravel, but I think, I think I'm going to go for the to be honest. Didn't need any flakes, got that. It's really just the gravel I came for. Alright, so these are the rocks I came home with, these purpley coloured ones. They're good for the tank. Now all I need to do is just go and grab a plastic plant and we'll be set. Alright, so I've actually got this little uh, artificial plant from my other tanks that we can also use for the tank. And I might just get one more. I actually found these pretty cool uh, white rocks for the tank as well instead of a plant. Um, I think they'll make a nice addition with the purple gravel as well. So we use those. Alright, first things first, rinsing off the gravel. Comes out the bottom, make sure it's all nice and rinsed. It's more like 
like a dark blue than a purple. That is so cool. It's like a purpley blue. Put some gravel in there. that all out. Next we have our plant. Tuck him in the tuck him in the corner there. Some rocks going. Just like that. These have already been washed off so we don't need to worry about that. I'm just going to basically go around the, the uh basically go around the side of the plant. And there we go, that is the final product of our ornaments and gravel. Now I'm going to get some water in here. I'm going to take some water out of this one because this is where he's going to go uh, after he's been in that tank. as much as I'm going to fill it up because I need to put the fish bag in here to acclimate. Oh, that is so close to the top. As you can see, he's, uh, he's actually pretty keen to get in. But oh, look at the size. <laughs> 15 minutes later. Here we go. There you go, buddy. It's a new little home. So let me pop the uh, pop the top on here. Some quick montage. Also guys, I did not worry about the uh, the lights because I just figured that um, I wasn't actually going to ever use this tank for a fish really, probably just decoration, so if I was going to put the lights in, I would have done it, but that is all good. There he is, little guy's just chilling. Just put him in my uh, my big tank now, he's just down here in the corner. He's like, I don't know if you can see him, but he's camouflaged on the gravel. There he is. So he's now having a good time in there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I mean, maybe I'll keep this tank as like a, uh, a festive tank. We can use it for each holiday. So if you want to see me do like themed aquariums like Halloween or Christmas and more, drop a comment down below. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video.